So now that we're up here on the third floor, we got all of our hempcrete up here. Uh, what we're doing before we can even pack this hempcrete in the wall is we need to start scratching it. We're gonna wet it. We can kind of actually rake this hempcrete up. And what we're doing is we're, we're making a new layer for the next layer to go on top of. And so we wanna encourage the layers to bond. You gotta move it around with your hands and don't be shy to dig down and get into that next layer below. Uh, because that's going to be everything for adding and having a cohesive wall on top of it. We're ready. We're going to put some hempcrete in our walls. We have raked, scraped, uh, sprayed down our original hempcrete wall. We have our form board up. Uh, but first we're going to talk a little bit just about the technique of packing. So we have this structural frame that our hempcrete is coming down into this form. We need to take our packer tool we're going to keep it along the outside of our form. We're tamping along the edge. In the middle, we're going to keep it more lofted because that what that does is it gives us our insulation value. And that's what hempcrete is at the end of the day. It's a highly efficient insulator. And so we want to allow the material to perform that way. So what we do is we pack the outside really firmly and leave the inside more lofted. Thank you for checking out the three basic components of how to build a hempcrete building. You have the mixing, you have the forming, you have the packing. We're finishing out this wall here. We're finishing out the Highland Hemp House. If you're interested in starting the building process yourself, if you want to learn how Hempitecture uses a systems thinking approach to build in a more cost efficient and effective way, then contact us. We look forward to starting the conversation with you. sweating my ass off.